Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If this is the first video that you are watching, hi. My name is Lauren and I'm a second year first grade teacher here in Massachusetts. And if you are thinking to yourself, Lauren, why are you wearing those big hoop earrings with a red shirt? You look like a pirate. <laughs> that was the plan. Today is pirate day. We are doing um, virtual learning still, of course, but I used um, just a few different props and some themed slides and stuff to make today's learning totally pirate themed and I am really excited. It was something that we were working together to earn in our marble jar as like our whole class um, management system, we earn marbles. And so for our latest adventure, if we earned 15 marbles, we would have pirate day. So I am really excited to take you guys along with us. Um, it's October first so haven't vlogged since my birthday which was like two weeks ago um, but anyways it's been a good two and a half weeks but now it's time to share some more with you guys and I wanted to share pirate day with you all so I if you don't know I vlog on my phone um, and I use my phone as like a document camera during the day while I'm teaching so I don't know how much of me actually teaching I'll be able to get but I'm going to try I'm also just going to show you what we're doing for each of our um, subject areas because everything is related to like what we've been learning in each subject area and I'll um, show the slides to you guys and just take you along for the whole um, adventure Ooh. so anyways Ahoy, let's do it. Okay, I am at my desk now. I did take my hat off just because I have an IEP meeting to attend this morning before our live learning session starts and I don't wanna show up to that with my pirate hat on. But before that meeting quickly, I want to show you the slides for today. Um, so our live session, if you don't know, is from 8.45 to 12.10. And what I've done is made slides every day um, so that we can I can share my screen and that's how we like work through our day of instruction. Um, so let me show you the pirate slides for today because they are so fun. All right, so I always let people into the meeting 10 minutes early. I start our Zoom early. It's just the one Zoom link, but I share my screen, turn my camera and um, sound off, and then I play a timer. And I found this timer that is a pirate themed, which is perfect. And normally it says class will start in, but today it says, ahoy mateys, the adventure begins in. And then you'll notice in the bottom left, there is a little map icon. This map links to like an actual map for the presentation. This is our map. It says, let's set sail and each of of these stops on the map is a different part of our day. So the message in a bottle is morning meeting, the parrot is foundations, the Jolly Roger is reading, the telescope is science, and the treasure chest is for math. And they're all linked, like I said, to that subject. So we'll start here. This is our morning meeting. It says all hands on deck. The captain has called a ship meeting. You guys can read, so I'll just click through. For our greeting, we're gonna do ahoy matey. For share, what things would you bury in a treasure chest? And I'll just keep track of what they say. And then this is just a game I made up. Let's learn how to follow pirate direction. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen with them and pin my video instead. And there are a few different um, motions that I will teach them. So if I say shiver me timbers, they shiver. If I say land ho, they hold up a pretend telescope. If I say captain is coming, they freeze and salute. And if I say walk the plank, they walk in a straight line. So we're going to try to play a game where I say a direction and they follow it as quickly as they can. And then that is it for our morning meeting, aside from our morning message in a bottle. <laughs> Here it is. And at the end of morning meeting, we'll go back to the map. Um, we'll start foundations. All I did for foundations was switch out Echo the Owl for Polly the parrot, essentially. I also have a hat that is a parrot. Um, here is the parrot's feathers, and I'll wear that hat during foundations. Um, but you guys can read what it says. Um, let's see. There's that. This is just our letter keyword sound drills. If you don't do foundations, you will have no clue what these are. <laughs> And then we're learning two more letters today, E and of course, a pirate's favorite letter, R. So we'll practice those and then we will practice writing them with their writing grids that they got on Friday. And then these are just audio recordings, what letter says, and if I click it, it makes the sound. If we have time, we'll go through those. A witty crew, ye shall pass, but first a song. And it just has a go noodle. Um, I think it's called Pirate Song. Um, it's just a fun pirate song. Back to the map, to the Jolly Roger. 
We're going to read How I Became a Pirate. I'll read that under the camera and then we'll answer some questions. Not so fast. I'll type their responses. And then we have a break. So it's the same 10 minute timer and then back to the map. After our first break, we have science. We are working on observing and describing those two science skills. Um, so I have a frozen baking soda treasure chest that has items inside of it. Right now it's in the teacher's lounge in the freezer, but this is what the slides look like. They'll get a piece of paper and they will write observations at the top of it, just a piece of plain white printer paper. And then I will put my phone under here and I'll have the treasure chest here in a cake pan and I'll pour vinegar on it and then it will fizz and all the things that are frozen inside will come out. So we will um, make some pictures to record what we observe. And then the captain has another fun pirate song for us. This one has a pattern. We're also learning about observing patterns in the world around us. So it's a different kind of pattern, but we'll talk about how that song has a pattern. Back to the map. And then for math, the treasure. We found the long lost treasure. So over here, I have a little treasure box. Each of them got one of these with their materials that they picked up on Friday. And inside there are... Um, there's a book for shared reading that they'll do af this afternoon, but there is also um, some little rhinestones in there like jewels. And so they will get those out, empty your treasure chest, and use your gems to help you solve these pirate problems. And this is just hyperlinked to a boom deck that happened to already be using the same clip art. So it looks really nice. It just goes with like our theme super well with the same parrot and everything. So they'll just get out one of their gems, five, count them all together. How many? Six. Um, so there's math. And then after math, we have another break. And then at the end of the day, we have Jim. And I just put this little guy rowing a boat down here. And it says, we're not done yet. Pirates always get their bodies moving. So they'll have gym class. And then this will be it. Thanks for your help today, mateys. Hope we'll be seeing you around the island again soon. That is the slideshow for today. Um, I am working on potentially purchasing a license for the clip art. If I were to make this a product, um, let me know down below if that is something you would like. I would insert some slide templates um, that kind of like have the pirate and text boxes boxes that you would be able to type into um, just because I know not everyone has foundations so that might not be something that you would want in there um, but just let me know if this is something that you would be interested in um, potentially purchasing on TPD. I've never posted anything there um, but if I need to I can purchase the commercial license so that I can sell this slide pirate day template but anyways the IEP meeting is going to be starting sorry, pop up, in about 10 minutes. Um, so I'm going to set up our Google Classroom assignments for this afternoon. Like I said, um, there's a book inside of the treasure chest for shared reading that I just printed from um, reading A to Z. So I'm going to post a video of me reading that story for them to read along with me this afternoon on Google Classroom. And then I'm also posting a CVC pirate themed boom deck on Google Classroom. It's gonna be like linked to their boom um, so they can go and do that this afternoon as well. Um, but anyways, I will hopefully get some footage of me teaching throughout the day um, because I think it will be really funny, especially with the Polly the Parrot hat on. But we'll see, like I said, I have to use my phone as a document camera for a lot of the things. Um, but anyways, we'll see how it goes. Arg. You guys, it's 827, which means I will open our meeting in eight minutes. Our learning will start in 18 minutes. I am probably more excited than they are. Like I am so, so pumped to get this day going. Also, I just looked at the licenses and the terms of use for all of the clip art that I used to make the slides. And I think I am going to be able to share everything um, as long as I flatten it. And I will have to, like I said, remove the foundations images, um, but those can be replaced with just text boxes. But I'm really excited about that because not only do I get to show this to you guys, but I get to actually share it with you. And um, I have a TPT, I, like it's by, it's putting them first, but I've never posted on it. So let me know if you guys would be interested at all in this like pirate themed virtual classroom transformation um i don't know i don't know how it's gonna go yet because we haven't done it yet but mm, i need to get my captain hats on because it's going in 18 minutes i'm so excited all right i realized that this looks disgusting um but it is like a recipe of baking soda 
water and then a little bit of jello powder to add coloring. Um, it's three parts baking soda to one part water and you freeze it into a brick. I tried to buy a mold that was shaped like a treasure chest, but they were sold out. I'll link it in the description box if you want to try to buy them on Amazon. Um, but you just freeze it into a brick with things inside and then that is vinegar. When I pour it over, everything will fizz and the baking soda and water will kind of melt and we'll be able to find some treasure inside and they are going to draw their observations. So here we go, let's get started with science. We are now in gym class, or they are in gym class, and I um, just admit the specials teachers into our Zoom, and then I just sit and mute and turn my camera off, but I wanted to show you guys. I brought a snack, and um, we're all gonna be shocked because Lauren, extra. Well, you guys, I am sitting here and hoping that I will be able to have some more math screener appointments. Um, one of my kiddos is not able to make it. And of course I can't schedule someone into that time, like within 10 minutes notice. So instead I'm going to show you the asynchronous assignments that my students are working on this afternoon. If they aren't in a math screener with me, because those are also pirate themed, of course. So let me show you. All right. The first one is a boom deck with CVC words. So they all have audio. They can listen. And then they choose the treasure chest that matches. I did not make this. I purchased this, by the way. Um, but it has the creator's name down here, so I can link that. If you use Boom Decks, these are awesome. Um, and then for math, I'm having them actually practice the same deck that we did um, together for math because we didn't obviously get through like a ton of them working all together. So they will just have a chance to do some additional practice with these problems. And then the last thing is this video that I filmed on my phone this morning of me reading this book that was printed from Reading A to Z. Um, that website has a free trial for 14 days. So if you want to do this, you could get a free trial just to print this book if you want to. Um, I did the foldable version, so it's really small and it fit inside their treasure chest. But the video, um, I'll show you. It's literally just me reading the text to them so that they can read it on their own and follow along. With Love Pirates, written by Edie Evans, illustrated by Remy Samard. Words to know. All right, so you get the picture. It's literally just me reading that little printable book. Um, but like I said, you could get a free trial to print that book if you don't already have a membership to reading A to Z. I only have the free trial, but I found a pirate book, so I was excited. Um, but anyways, really quickly before my next appointment this afternoon, I do want to show you um, what became of that baking soda block. I just kind of glazed over it quickly when I was showing my desk in the afternoon, but let me show you. All right, so when I poured the vinegar over everything, this is what happens. Um, it starts to fizz, which is really exciting, and they had so much fun um, picking out all the things that were inside. These were some that they asked me to pull out so that we could look at them up close under the telescope, aka the dot camera. So yeah, it just looks like a giant sheet pan of mush now. <laughs> but honestly, that was, I think, their favorite part. Um, they love love doing science experiments and if they were here in school i think i would have made each of them their own little like individual ice cube with something inside um for them to then like break down but obviously because they're remote i couldn't have them all do that at their house um, i can't ask parents to all make frozen frozen treasure chest blocks <laughs> so we just did the one under the telescope but they really really liked it um but anyways i am going to sit here and hopefully have a mask screener in a few and then i will talk to y'all before i leave all right, obviously I am not at school any longer. I'm in my car. I'm actually in the Target parking lot because I needed um, some shampoo and some apples, but that is not why I opened my camera. Um, here is the thing. I leave Target with my shampoo and apples and I'm walking back to my car and I just have to show you this because I swear y'all these kinds of things happen to me and I don't really know why. So I'm walking up to my car and like I'm already in a great mood. It was pirate day, yo-ho, know what I'm saying? And I walk up to my car and there is a rubber ducky on the handle of my car and someone wrote it's a jeep thing on it um and then there's like a little tag on it that says hello jeep owner you have been ducked this is intended to brighten your day um don't forget to tell us where you were ducked it's like a social media thing for jeeps i guess um about ducks 
quack quack I guess I mean I guess I'll keep this little duck in my car he's my favorite color he's got little stars on him like <laughs> all right me and my ducky made it home update I sent a picture of that in our family group text and my dad who was a very big jeep guy freaked out that I got ducked and he's never gotten a duck before and that apparently it's a big deal so there's that I mean like an honor. I would like to thank my parents. I'm just kidding. Um, but if you have any name ideas for my duck, leave those down below. Aside from that, before I end this video, I wanted to kind of leave one place for you to find anything if you wanted to try to do any pirate activities with your students. So I am going to be creating an Amazon um, list, like idea list, that has everything that I purchased from Amazon. Um, things like the hat and the little treasure boxes for um, the students and um, different things like that. And then aside from what I purchased, I will also link the boom decks that I used, um, those I purchased. I'll link the clip art that I purchased to make everything. Keep in mind, like I'm investing in these clip arts so that I can continue creating for my classroom, which is why I purchased this clip art. But what I'm hoping to do is sell the pirate template on my own TPT in the future um, because that doesn't violate any of the terms of use or licensing or anything like that. So if you are interested in the pirate template, let me know. But anyways, aside from the clip art, um, I think there was like a couple other things. Oh, the book from Reading A to Z, I'll link that. I'll link like the videos from Go Noodle and YouTube that we used. Um, literally anything. If there is anything in this video that you are interested in that you wanted to maybe um, look into for doing a pirate day in your own room, it will be found in the description box below. What I'm going to do now is get on my computer and hopefully get this vlog going for you guys um, on one computer, my personal computer. And then on my other computer, if you are teaching remotely or just like teaching at all, you know how it works. My other computer will just have my email open um, and then I'll probably get some emails and I'll respond to those and then I'll get some more and I'll respond to those. And then eventually it will be dinner time and I'll wonder where the time went and then I'll eat dinner and then I'll be exhausted and go to sleep. And then tomorrow I'll wake up and do it again because it's Friday. Friday. Um, but quick update because I haven't really like posted anything. So before I say goodbye, um, the first almost three weeks of remote learning have been going, I would say like smoothly. Um, I've realized that my time teaching with VIP Kid, though it was not the best season, um, when I was walking through it, it really did help me to feel comfortable um, teaching online and gave me some skills with like TPR and things um, that have really served me well in this role. So that has just been a very poignant reminder to me that hard things that you go through are going to somehow come out in the end for your benefit. Um, and I'm just really reflecting on that in this season because I know for a fact the time that I spent teaching online has helped me um, in like Oh, I just kicked the ring light. Sorry, it's helped me in this role. So that's been nice. Um, but anyways, the biggest hurdle, because I don't want to leave you pretending that everything is super nice and sunshine and daisies, is um, the time. I mean, nothing that we used in person, some things can be used. I don't want to say nothing. That was an overgeneralization. But a lot of what we did in person doesn't work for remote learning. So whereas last year, when it was my first year of teaching, I would convince myself, like, this is worth it to spend all this time prepping centers and all kinds of things um, because I'm going to use them next year. Well, haha, <laughs> <laughs> joke's on me. Not using them because we're not doing centers because they aren't in the classroom. So I'm now spending time making slides and doing other things. So it is a lot of time. Um, but all of that to say, so far I'm really enjoying this school year. I am loving not being new to absolutely everything. I mean, <laughs> remote learning is new, um, but I know my school and we have a amazing faculty and I'm friends with everyone now. So it's just been a totally different kind of feel for the year. And I do plan to vlog more now that I've gotten into the swing of things. I hope you all will understand that I had to put the beginning of our year as my biggest priority. I had to make sure we started on the right foot and um, I was able to spend my time there where I needed to to get us off in a good direction. So anyways, that is where I'm at. Um, if you have any questions about anything, please leave them down below and I will get back to you. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.